Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The topic of discussion for today's lecture is protozoa. Let's move to the question number one. All recent animal file and protists, they were present during which period according to the fossil record? As far as geological time chart is concerned with respect to presence of different animal phyla as well as protists, almost all of them they were found, their fossil record were found during Cambrian period. That's why right option is alpha. You can also confirm it from this picture that during Cambrian explosion, almost all types of animal phyla as well as different groups of protists which are present today, they are also there. So right option is alpha. And one of the following is not true about pellicle. Pellicle is made up of tubulin protein. In protozoa, it is found below the plasma membrane and it provides some sort of rigidity to the cell as well. But it is not found in all protozoans. So right option is Charlie over here. As you can see over here, the structure of pellicle just below the cell membrane, alveoli or alveolar tubules or subpellicular microtubules can be observed, observed over here. And these structures, which are made up of microtubules or tubulin protein, they provide rigid shape to the cell. Number three, the type of structures implicated involved in emptying contractile vacuum, they are microfilaments actually, while microtubules, they are forming the pellicular structures and intermediate filaments may be present as internal support of the cell. So right option is Charlie. In protozoa, the points in cell responsible for ingestion, intake of food and digestion, removal of food respectively are. Cytopharynx is the point in protozoa which is concerned with ingestion of food as you can see over here. And ejection point in protozoa is a cytopies. So right option is alpha. Number five, most common form of asexual reproduction in protozoa is binary fission. Any other types of cell division, such as schizogony, multiple fission, bedding or fragmentation, they are observed. But binary fission is more common as compared to other types of reproduction. One of the following is not an event in sexual reproduction of protozoa. Protozoa, they form gametes. Their gametes fuse with each other and there is formation of zygote as well. But embryo formation is not their feature. So right option is delta. Number seven, a short term type of symbiotic relationship in which both organisms are harmed is known as synecrosis, Charlie. For example, when a honeybee bites, it actually bites at the cost of its own life as well. So both of them, they are affected. Honeybees as well as the victim, they are harmed. So right option is Charlie. Amensalism, which is written in alpha, is a type of relationship in which one organism is harmed, while other is neither benefited or nor harmed. For example, the death of, a, of an aunt by your feet, it harms the aunt actually, but it doesn't, uh, say any, it doesn't cause any effect on you. So amensalism in, is the relationship in which one organism is being harmed and other organism is neither benefited nor harmed. But commensalism, one organism is benefited while other is neither harmed or not uh, benefited. And you are well aware of parasitism as well. So over here, the right option is Charlie. Question number eight. The number of protozoan species extend almost beyond 38,000. And according to the recent study, the protozoa, they are having 50,000 species. The right option is Delta. Mode of locomotion in phylum Sarcomastigophora may be with the help, they move with the help of flagella or cirrocori or even both. So right option is beta. <clears throat> As you can see over here, sarcomastigophora, they consist of subphylum mastigophora, which are having flagella, and subphylum sarcorina, which have cirrocoria, different types of cirrocoria. 
So right option was beta. Number 10, periodic bloom or red tides are produced due to, they are produced due to a type of algae known as Cygnogenium and they may be toxic as well. So right option is alpha. A protein body in the chloroplast of certain plant and bublina involved in the storage of starch is pyrenoid, the starch storing structure found in many protozoans, including uh, bublina, as you can see over here beside chloroplast. Pyrenoid is a starch storing structure. Question number 12. Volvox produces two types of gametes by specialized cells micro and macro gaps. Which one is flagellated? In all animals as well as in protozoa or volvox, the micro gametes or male gametes, which are referred as male gametes as well, they are flagellated, while macro gametes, they are non-motile. Glossina species, CC fly, is a vector for almost all three types of Trypanosoma species. So right option is Delta. Trypanosoma can live in all of the following sites in a human host, except they are not found in slidery glands, but they can infect lymph, blood, or central nervous system as well. So, right option is Charlie. A mass of mitochondrial DNA lying closely to the nucleus in some flagellated protozoa is known as kinetoplast. While kinetosomes, they are the they, that is another name for the basal bodies. <clears throat> As you can see in this case, the picture of trypanosoma has been shown over here and you can see kinetoplast just beside the mitochondrion over here. So right option is delta. Move to the question number 16. Which of the following are supported by central excess of microtubule? These are different types of pseudopodia. And exopodia are the structures which are supported by central axis of microtubule. In the diagram alpha or A, you can see the structure of lobopodium, which is considered having both ectoplasm and endoplasm and used for locomotion as well as engulfing lobopodia. While philopodia, they are of a shelled amoeba, they contain ectoplasm only. You can see in the diagram B, these are philopodia. And reticulopodia, they are similar to the philopodia, except they branch and rejoin to form a net-like structure, as you can see over here, reticulopodia. And the last one, exopodia, on the surface of helizone, large marine amoeba. They are responsible for delivering food to the central cytoplasm. So right option over here is beta exopodia. In rhizopod, tests or shells are protective structures which are secreted by their cytoplasm rather than other structures. So right option is beta. Number 18, planktonic marine and freshwater amoeba which are relatively large are known as heliosomes. So right option is beta. Some of the oldest known fossils of eukaryotic protozoans, they are foraminiferas, so right option is delta. The shells, they have been found preserved in the older fossil, oldest fossil record. One of the following is not a feature of epicomplexin. Epicomplexin are the group of plasmodium, they have more than one host. They have apical complex and they have one type of nucleus but they're non-motile and they do not possess any flagella. So right option is delta over here. One of the following are injected into human body by the mosquito, female Anopheles mosquito, they inject sporozoites into the human body. They get, mosquito is the primary host, female Anopheles mosquito is the primary or definitive host for plasmodium. It injects sporozoites which divide into the liver in the liver cells and form merozoites. Merozoites are ultimately converted into gametocytes which may be ingested by another mosquito during its blood meal. So right option is alpha. 
Which of the following is the rarest of four Plasmodium species? It is Plasmodium ovale, which is rarest as compared to other four species. A parasite which is fatal to the silkworm is Nosema bombicus, which causes pavarin disease in the silkworm. So right option is alpha. The cause of tumbling or whirling disease in fishes is Myxosoma cerebralis. It infects a lot of fishes. So right option is Charlie. Sexual reproduction of toxoplasma primarily occurs in the catch. Is a life cycle of toxoplasma shown over here. Cat is a definitive, a primary host, an intermediate host, maybe a rat or it uh, may be another vertebrate host. This member of phylum Microspora has been used by U.S. Environmental Protection Agency to control grasshoppers. It is Nosema locuste for the control of grasshoppers in America. So right option is Charlie. A phylum of protozoa exclusively represented by obligate extracellular parasite is Acetospora. It's a small phylum, but they are exclusively parasites, especially obligate extracellular parasites. And all of the following are the features of ciliophora, except ciliophora, obviously, they're having cilia, a rigid pellicle, and dimorphic nuclei, but they're not having fixed shape, despite having rigid pellicle. They may show less rigid or less fixed shape. So right option is Charlie. Cirri, they are the combined cilia found in uh, phylum Ciliophora. So right option is beta. Pellicular structures which are primarily used for protection in ciliates, they are trichocysts. As you can see inside the cell, certain colored projections over here. Trichocysts, they are the projections from pellicle and they are protective in their nature. And we have discussed earlier the about canatosome as well as canatoplast. Canatosomes, they are the basal bodies and canatoplast, they are mitochondrial or aggregation of DNA surrounding mitochondria. Didinum primarily feed upon paramecium, as shown in this picture. So right option is beta in this case. A didinum is shown feeding on a paramecium. 32. Genetic reserve of the cell in ciliates, they are micronuclei, while meganucleus is concerned with the control of metabolism. So right option is alpha over here. During conjugation in ciliates, sticky secretions for adhesion, they are released by pellicle for adhesion of conjugation is shown over here. And conjugation involves exchange of micronuclei for genetic recombination. Balantidium coli is a dash type of ciliate. It's a parasitic ciliate and is found in the colon or large intestine of many vertebrates. Protozoa evolved approximately how many billion years ago? And as far as the evolution of eukaryotes or protozoa is concerned, they evolved almost 1.5 billion years ago from ancestral prokaryotic organisms. So right option is Charlie. Next discussion will be about multicellular and tissue levels of organization, including phylum Cnidaria and phylum Chilophora. So, thank you for watching. I hope so. It is beneficial for you. Allah Hafiz.